After startup, you'll see the application window and one active drawing tab. You'll also see the design feed palette where you can view and share comments on drawings with colleagues you've tagged. The drawing area is where you create and modify objects to represent your design. These are the buttons to minimize, maximize, or close the drawing. The navigation bar provides access to the steering wheel and the pan and zoom tools. Use the menu button in the lower right corner to customize the navigation bar. In the lower left corner of the drawing area are the controls to switch between model space, where you'll do most of your drawing, and paper space, the layout tabs that allow you to control which area of the drawing to publish and at which scale. Above the drawing tabs is the ribbon. The ribbon organizes commands and tools into tabs and panels. For example, the Draw panel on the Home tab contains tools to create basic and complex objects such as lines, circles and ellipses, while the Modify panel contains tools to modify objects such as Move, Copy and Rotate. Click the Application button to create, open or publish drawings or to search for commands. You can also create new drawings or open drawings from the file tabs. The Quick Access toolbar displays frequently used tools. You can easily customize this to include the tools you like to use. In the lower left corner of the drawing area is the UCS icon, which displays the positive directions of the X and Y axes. Use the command line to start a command and provide input for the current command. Dynamic input, which is enabled by default, displays command prompts and inputs right next to the cursor. At the bottom of the application window is the application status bar. The status bar displays the current coordinates of the cursor, common drafting aids, layout and view tools, annotation scaling tools, and workspace customization tools.